What's going on everybody? Sam Heine here. Welcome back to another episode of Street Talk. If it looks like I'm in a classroom, I am. Uh, I live really close to Bellarmine University and I come up and just walk on campus and mooch off of their classrooms for working spaces all the time and it works great. So wanted to get that out of the way, but welcome back to another episode of Street Talk. Glad to have you all with me. Uh, this week's going to be something special actually. So I guess just to start this off, I'm one of three co-founders of a pop-up event series in town called Unwind Louisville. And we started this really with a vision to bring good people, good wine, good local food around inspiring up and coming raw transformational spaces in Louisville, celebrating the comeback stories of what's happening around town. Um, and we actually had our inaugural event at the Waterfront Botanical Gardens on this past Friday, August 2nd. Um, and just a little spiel about the Waterfront Botanical Gardens, it was really the perfect place to set up for number one. Um, in one of the oldest pockets of Louisville in the Butchertown neighborhood was a uh, landfill, a barren landfill for many years, and now it's being regreened into a luscious botanical gardens. What a cool story, very creative, inspirational, uh, and so we wanted to capitalize on that and bring some good promotion around it. So what came along with that was we picked up a couple of sponsors to help us put this thing on, um, and thank you to Lim Walker Tree Service and Earthy Brown's Natural Products for helping us to do that. We could not have done it with you guys, and you all fit perfectly into our mission. Um, but what came with that sponsorship, those sponsorships, was we did little short interview form style promos. Um, one, to, to promote Unwind Louisville's affiliation with uh, Lim Walker and Earthy Brown. But two, two I guess, to uh, promote the event coming up. But three, and the main piece, at meat and potatoes of these things, were to have a short interview style with the owners, operators of these companies, these local companies that are based around sustainability and uh, promoting a natural growth model for Louisville um, and just talking about what they w are excited about in the Waterfront Botanical Gardens coming to town, how it fits in with their, their business model, what they think it's going to do for Louisville in the positive direction. Um, and so what we really got out of that was just two really great pieces of content, two short pieces of content that, uh, you know, essentially are mini street talks. And so I wanted to string those together and, and present them to you all because I, I'm proud of them. and. Uh, I think they came out really good, and I think it's uh, some good content and good perspective. So um, I wanted to, uh, to present that to you guys now. So thank you all again for tuning in. Hope you all do enjoy this, and I will see you next week if I don't see you before then. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is the Unwind Louisville team coming at you live from the Lim Walker Tree Service HQ in Old Louisville. Standing here with Chris O'Brien, one of the owner and operators of Lim Walker Tree Service. Uh, and we wanted to come on and formally announce that Lim Walker Tree Service is going to be partnering with Unwind Louisville in launching our inaugural event this Friday, August 2nd, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Waterfront Botanical Gardens. Unwind at the Waterfront Botanical Gardens. Uh, and we, you know, we just wanted to celebrate that. It's an exciting thing. I think uh, Lim Walker's mission and vision fits in with what Unwind Louisville is looking to do uh, in terms of putting these events together. And, you know, Chris, you, you might like this the way I like to think about it, but much in the same way you go to the doctor for a checkup, if you're not feeling good, Lim Walker goes to your house and checks out your trees, checks out your, your plants, making sure everything's looking good, feeling good, uh, routine maintenance on, on your vegetation and wildlife. Yeah, that's right, Sam. Um, thanks for having me. I'd love to talk about that. Um, yeah, that's what we, we try to do. We try to get people in the idea of uh, that plant health care and plant care is an ongoing process. Yeah. It's not once and done. Obviously, people have trees that fall over and we've got to clean those up as well. But if you do your routine maintenance, you're going to have trees last longer. Yeah. You're going to be with you longer and uh, less likely to pick them up off your driveway right. or off your house. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's a very intentional way to structure a company, and that's mm -hmm. something that we identified with immediately. And mm -hmm. uh, Chris, while I've got you here, I wanted to ask you, what are just a couple of things that you're most excited about the Waterfront Botanical Gardens bringing to Louisville in the form of the sustainable vision that they're trying to create yeah. and bringing more natural 
uh, well-being, I guess, in the, in the growth of Louisville. So at the beginning of uh, the last century, uh, it became known that the United States was tearing its forests apart. So we needed uh, a, new, a new example of traditional forestry. So for example, maybe no more clear cutting, maybe uh, intentional forestry for the next generation. But now we need examples of good urban forestry because what we've done, we built our cities without planning correctly for how to have the green infrastructure. The green infrastructure that um, minimizes pollutants, um, affects and minimizes stormwater runoff, creates shade, decreases electricity use, and decreases uh, use for uh, air conditioning. Um, you need to have good examples of how to manage the green infrastructure in the urban environment. And so that's where I think botanical gardens can really do a lot of, a lot of help in setting that example yeah. and setting that physical model for people to see. Yeah, that's amazing. It's all about yeah. the flow. It's all about the flow. You have to have, um, people need an example, you know they hear, it's, you know, I can tell someone till they're, till I'm red in the face about what, what good tree care is, what good plant care, but if I show them an example, they immediately feel it. And so you have to, you have to, if you, if you want to create an effect on people, you have to have them feel it. And so that's what, that's why I'm loving this botanical gardens. Chris, uh, I'm curious why you all wanted to support Unwind Louisville uh, and also the Waterfront Botanical Gardens. Oh, so we're excited. Anyone that wants to start, we've been supporting the Botanical Gardens for years, uh, even when it was still in its design phase. And um, a woman named Dot, I know she told me about it a long time ago, and she's since passed away. But um, I've been excited about that idea for a long time, and I'm a plant person. And I've always had that question, why doesn't Louisville, if we're going to be a city, yep. where's our botanical gardens? Um, you know, I think Louisville in particular is, we have everything, we're in the center. Everything in this world is going to be about distribution. We are just primed to grow. Yep. But in order to do that, we need things that other cities have. We need a botanical gardens. We need green infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, just like we need um, things for people to do that we want to attract to this city. You know, we want people who, who uh, uh, we want young professionals. But young professionals have lots of options. They have, they can go to Nashville, they can go to Atlanta, they can go to St. Louis, yeah. Cincinnati, Indianapolis, and we want them to come here. So we need to, we need to provide that infrastructure, number one. Um, number two, um, anyone that's supporting that Botanical Gardens effort and putting energy towards that, I want to uh, be part of that enthusiasm. Right. We want to be part of that enthusiasm as a group. Contagious, isn't it? Contagious. And enthusiasm is one of the biggest movers in this world. Yep. And I'm, I'm totally convinced. So when you all got on board, I was like, yes, we need to do more of that. Yes, keep it going. Keep the ball rolling. Because it's, it's, it's an uphill battle. Yeah. Anything new is uphill. People don't know about it. But now we, we have the momentum. Let's keep it going. And we need those, uh, those things to bring people in and get that, that excitement, keep yeah. that up. Well, I think it's absolutely contagious, um, and I think the excitement surrounding the event is yep. indicative of that, and I think that your enthusiasm is obvious in our discussion today, yeah. and I want to thank you all for supporting the event and supporting uh, the Waterfront Botanical Gardens, and we hope you guys will support Limwalker. Uh, it's clear that you've got a great passion for it mm -hmm. and you all do really great work. Well, thanks. So. We, we try to just attract good people who are nice, who love plants, who love to take care of trees and then everything else kind of falls into place. So awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. Okay. And uh, we'll talk to you guys on Friday. Bye-bye. All, right. all right. Bye. What's going on everybody? This is the Unwind Louisville team or at least two-thirds of the Unwind Louisville team. We're here at the historic Farmington Plantation House with none other than Paul Brown is the owner-operator of Earthy Brown's Natural Products, uh, specializes in mindful, sustainable hand soaps, body soaps, uh, deodorizers, lip balm, CBD oils, lotions, uh, and he's, you know, I think the, the main pillars from what I've gathered, I use the products myself, is, you know, you really hang your hat on sustainability, a natural way of uh, giving back to the earth, but also giving back to your customers and their bodies and what they put in their bodies. Um, and we wanted to come on here and, uh, informally announced that Earthy Brown is partnering with Unwind Louisville in uh, our inaugural event at the Waterfront Botanical Gardens this Friday, August 2nd, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Unwind at the Waterfront Botanical Gardens. And 
you know, getting into this project, you know, we wanted to find partners that were, we wanted to find them in an intentional way. We didn't want to partner with a bank for the low-hanging fruit, the easy money. We wanted to partner with people that shared the vision that we were trying to put together, shared the, the, the theme, you know, kind of makes sense in the regreening of a barren landfill and, you know, uh, the theme of a more sustainable Louisville. And so uh, we're, we're so happy that Earthy Brown uh, joined us. And uh, Paul, while I've got you here, I just wanted to ask you, what are a couple of things that you're most excited about that the Waterfront Botanical Gardens might bring to the city in the form of sustainability uh, and the natural ways that you really should be growing the city? Uh, the biggest thing I would like to see is education. Uh, we are lacking education in uh, uh, this movement of, of the greener uh, way of living, uh, but I feel there's a large disconnect uh, and hopefully this will be a way for uh, to reach younger audiences and other people. Some of you might not know that Paul is actually a professional beekeeper and we're about to jump over and take a look at his hives. He's about to uh, put his suit on and Sam and I might be running to our cars really fast. Uh, he's got his hives over at Farmington Plantation, which is where we are here, as well as at Locust Grove. And do you have them located in any other location? Yeah, we have some right up against uh, Jervis Memorial Forest as well. So, uh, you know, it's scattered throughout Louisville. And before we were recording, we we're just chatting about uh, kind of the state of the local uh, bee population. And you had said that we're sort of witnessing a, a collapse locally, is that right? Yeah, it's actually been going on for some time, but uh, on average we lose 40% of our bees every year. And that's across Kentucky. So, to tie that in with what the Waterfront Botanical Gardens is doing, um, how does their project maybe play defense against that trend? Uh, well, they'll have a diverse uh, diet for the foods in that area for one, but it should also allow for pollinator gardens, uh, people to come in and be educated on the problem with the bees, because uh, we're just not aware of that. And it is a problem. Yeah. Well, I think that, you know, what they're doing um, in terms of, the, you know, creating a really diverse ecosystem will be beneficial not only to us from an educational standpoint and awareness standpoint, but also for things like the bees, which most of us you know, might not think first and foremost. So uh, speaking of bees, you guys about to get your hands dirty? Possibly I'm ready. Some, uh, <laughs> possibly get our running shoes on? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, well, cool. So uh, Earthy Browns, just to wrap up, Earthy Browns provides a lot of great natural products. Uh, they manufacture it here locally, and we do encourage you guys to check them out. Paul, how long have you been working the farmer's markets locally? Oh, uh, almost 20 years. I've been a beekeeper for 26 years. So, long time. Substantial. So, uh, you're just maybe just seeing Paul for the first time, but uh, you've probably been a beneficiary of his hard work locally um, as a beekeeper and also of a, a small business owner here locally. Uh, for decades. So thanks so much, Paul, for supporting us, and uh, we hope that you'll support Paul. So thanks so much, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. See you on Friday.